The dwarf planet Pluto has five moons down to a detection limit of about 1 km in diameter. In order of distance from Pluto, they are Charon, Styx, Nix, Kerberos, and Hydra. Charon, the largest of the five moons, is mutually tidally locked with Pluto, and is massive enough that Pluto Charon is sometimes considered a double dwarf planet. History The innermost and largest moon, Charon, was discovered by James Christie on the 22nd of June 1978, nearly half a century after Pluto was discovered. This led to a substantial revision in estimates of Pluto's size, which had previously assumed that the observed mass and reflected light of the system were all attributable to Pluto alone. Two additional moons were imaged by astronomers of the Pluto Companion Search Team preparing for the New Horizons mission and working with the Hubble Space Telescope on 15 May 2005, which received the provisional designations S-2005P1 and S-2005P2. The International Astronomical Union officially named these moons Nix or Pluto II, the inner of the two moons, formerly P2, and Hydra, Pluto III, the outer moon, formerly P1, on the 21st of June 2006. Kerberos, announced on the 20th of July 2011, was discovered while searching for Plutonian rings. Styx, announced on the 7th of July 2012, was discovered while looking for potential hazards for New Horizons. Charon Charon is about half the diameter of Pluto and is so massive nearly one -eighth of the mass of Pluto that the system's barycenter lies between them, approximately 960 km above Pluto's surface. Charon and Pluto are also tidally locked, so that they always present the same face toward each other. The IAU General Assembly in August 2006 considered a proposal that Pluto and Charon be reclassified as a double planet, but the proposal was abandoned. Topic: <laughs> Small moons. Pluto's four small moons orbit Pluto at 2 to 4 times the distance of Charon, ranging from Styx at 42,700 km to Hydra at 64,800 km from the barycenter of the system. They have nearly circular prograde orbits in the same orbital plane as Charon. All are much smaller than Charon. Nix and Hydra, the two larger, are roughly 42 and 55 km on their longest axis respectively, and Styx and Kerberos are 7 and 12 km respectively. All four are irregularly shaped. Characteristics The Pluto system is highly compact and largely empty. Moons could potentially orbit Pluto at up to 53% or 69% if retrograde of the hill radius, the stable gravitational zone of Pluto's influence. For example, Samath orbits Neptune at 40% of the hill radius. In the case of Pluto, only the inner 3% of the region where prograde orbits would be stable is occupied by satellites, and the region from Styx to Hydra is packed so tightly that there is little room for further moons with stable orbits. An intense search conducted by New Horizons confirmed that no moons larger than 4.5 km in diameter exist at the distances up to 180,000 km from Pluto for smaller distances, this threshold is still smaller. The orbits of the moons are confirmed to be circular and coplanar, with inclinations differing less than 0.4 degrees and eccentricities less than 0.005. The discovery of Nix and Hydra suggested that Pluto could have a ring system. Small body impacts can create debris that can form into a ring system. However, data from a deep optical survey by the Advanced Camera for Surveys on the Hubble Space Telescope, by occultation studies, and later by New Horizons, suggest that no ring system is present. Resonances Styx, Nix, and Hydra are thought to be in a three-body orbital resonance with orbital periods in a ratio of 18 hours 22 minutes and 33 seconds, the respective ratio of orbits is 11, 9 to 6. The ratios should be exact when orbital precession is taken into account. Hydra and Nix are in a simple 2 to 3 resonance. Styx and Nix are in a 11 to 9 resonance, while the resonance between Styx and Hydra has a ratio of 11 to 6. This means that in a recurring cycle there are 11 orbits of Styx for every 9 of Nix and 6 of Hydra. 
The ratios of synodic periods are then such that there are five Stix hydra conjunctions and three Nix hydra conjunctions for every two conjunctions of Stix and Nix. If lambda display style lambda denotes the mean longitude and phi display style phi the libration angle then the resonance can be formulated as phi equals 3 lambda s t y x minus 5 lambda n i x plus 2 lambda h y D R A equals 180. Display style phi equals 3 c d o t lambda underscore erm sticks minus 5 c d o t lambda underscore erm nix plus 2 c d o t lambda underscore erm hydra equals 180 carat circ. As with the Laplace resonance of the Galilean satellites of Jupiter, triple conjunctions never occur. Phi display style phi librates about 180 degrees with an amplitude of at least 10 degrees all of the outer circumbinary moons are also close to mean motion resonance with the Charon Pluto orbital period Styx Nix Kerberos and Hydra are in a 1 3 to 4 5 to 6 sequence of near resonances with Styx approximately 5.4% from its resonance Nix approximately 2.7% Kerberos approximately 0.6% and Hydra approximately 0.3% it may be that these orbits originated as forced resonances when Charon was tidally boosted into its current synchronous orbit, and then released from resonance as Charon's orbital eccentricity was tidally damped. The Pluto-Charon pair creates strong tidal forces, with the gravitational field at the outer moons varying by 15% peak-to-peak, however, it was calculated that a resonance with Charon could boost either Nix or Hydra into its current orbit, but not both. Boosting Hydra would have required a near-zero Charonian eccentricity of 0.024, whereas boosting Nix would have required a larger eccentricity of at least 0.05. This suggests that Nix and Hydra were instead captured material, formed around Pluto Charon, and migrated inward until they were trapped in resonance with Charon. The existence of Kerberos and Styx may support this idea. Rotation Nix, Hydra, Styx, and Kerberos rotate chaotically. According to Mark R. Schoelter, Nix can flip its entire pole. It could actually be possible to spend a day on Nix in which the sun rises in the east and sets in the north. It is almost random looking in the way it rotates." This is because they are in a dynamically changing gravitational field caused by Pluto and Charon orbiting each other. The variable gravitational field creates torques that make Nix and Hydra tumble. The torques are increased because the moons are elongated and not spherical. Only one other moon, Saturn's moon Hyperion, is known to tumble, though it is likely that Haumea's moons do so as well. <inaudible> Origin It is suspected that Pluto's satellite system was created by a massive collision, similar to the «big whack» thought to have created the moon. In both cases, the high angular momenta of the moons can only be explained by such a scenario. The nearly circular orbits of the smaller moons suggests that they were also formed in this collision, rather than being captured Kuiper belt objects. This and their near-orbital resonances with Charon suggest that they formed closer to Pluto than they are at present and migrated outward as Charon reached its current orbit. Their gray color is different from that of Pluto, one of the reddest bodies in the Solar System. This is thought to be due to a loss of volatiles during the impact or subsequent coalescence, leaving the surfaces of the moons dominated by water ice. However, such an impact should have created additional debris more moons, yet no moons or rings were discovered by New Horizons, ruling out any more moons of significant size orbiting Pluto. <laughs> List Pluto's moons are listed here by orbital period, from shortest to longest. Charon, which is massive enough to have collapsed into a spheroid at some point in its history, is highlighted in light purple. Pluto has been added for comparison. Asterisk all elements are with respect to the Pluto-Charon barycenter. 
The maximum distance between the centers of Pluto and Charon is 19571 plus or minus 4 kilometers. Topic: <laughs> Scale model of the Pluto system. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Mutual events. Transits occur when one of Pluto's moons passes between Pluto and the Sun. This occurs when one of the satellite's orbital nodes, the points where their orbits cross Pluto's ecliptic, lines up with Pluto and the Sun. This can only occur at two points in Pluto's orbit. Coincidentally, these points are near Pluto's perihelion and aphelion. Occultations occur when Pluto passes in front of and blocks one of Pluto's satellites. Charon has an angular diameter of 4 degrees of arc as seen from the surface of Pluto. The Sun appears much smaller, only 39 to 65 arcseconds. Charon's proximity further ensures that a large proportion of Pluto's surface can experience an eclipse. Because Pluto always presents the same face towards Charon due to tidal locking, only the Charon-facing hemisphere experiences solar eclipses by Charon. The smaller moons can cast shadows elsewhere. The angular diameters of the four smaller moons as seen from Pluto are uncertain. Nix's is 3 to 9 minutes of arc and Hydra's is 2 to 7 minutes. These are much larger than the Sun's angular diameter, so total solar eclipses are caused by these moons. Eclipses by Styx and Kerberos are more difficult to estimate, as both moons are very irregular, with angular dimensions of 76.9 by 38.5 to 77.8 by 38.9 arcseconds for Styx, and 67.6 by 32.0 to 68.0 by 32.2 for Kerberos. As such, Styx has no annular eclipses, its widest axis being more than 10 arcseconds larger than the Sun at its largest. However, Kerberos, although slightly larger, cannot make total eclipses as its largest minor axis is a mere 32 arcseconds. Eclipses by Kerberos and Styx will entirely consist of partial and hybrid eclipses, with total eclipses being extremely rare. The next period of mutual events due to Charon will begin in October 2103, peak in 2110, and end in January 2117. During this period, solar eclipses will occur once each Plutonian day, with a maximum duration of 90 minutes. Topic exploration The Pluto system was visited by the New Horizons spacecraft in July 2015. Images with resolutions of up to 330 m per pixel were returned of Nix and up to 1.1 km per pixel of Hydra. Lower resolution images were returned of Styx and Kerberos. Topic in science fiction Author Edmund Hamilton referred to three moons of Pluto in his 1940 novel Calling Captain Future, naming them Charon, Styx, and Cerberus. Charon was listed as the largest of them. All three moons would not be discovered until the year 1970, according to Hamilton. The real Charon was discovered in 1978. Topic notes topic References topic Sources S.A. Stern, H.A. Weaver, A.J. Steffel, M.J. Muchler, W.J. Merline, M.W. Bowie, E.F. Young, L.A. Young, and J.R. Spencer 2006, Characteristics and Origin of the Quadruple System at Pluto, Nature, submitted preprint Steffel, A. J., Muchler, M. J., Weaver, H. A., Stern, S. A., Durda, D. D., Terrell, D., Merline, W. J., Young, L. A., Young, E. F., Bowie, M. W., Spencer, J. R. 2006. New Constraints on Additional Satellites of the Pluto System. The Astronomical Journal, 132 614–619, Archive, Astro PH, 0511837. Bibcode, 2006AJ, .132, 614S. doi, 10.1086, Bowie M. W., Grundy W. M., Young, E. F., Young L. A., Stern S. A. 2005, Orbits and Photometry of Pluto Satellites, Karen, S. 2005 P. 1 and S. 2005 P. 2, submitted preprint Brozovich, M., Scholter, M. R., Jacobson, R. A., and Bowie, M. W. 2015, The Orbits and Masses of Satellites of Pluto, Icarus, 246, 317. 
doi 10.1016/j icarus.2014.03.015 bibcode 2015icar.246 317b codex regius 2016 pluto and karen create space independent publishing platform isbn 9781534960749 iau circular number 8625 describing the discovery of 2005p1 and p2 iau circular number 8686 reporting a more neutral color for 2005p2 iau circular number 8723 announcing the names of nix and hydra background information regarding our two newly discovered satellites of pluto the website of the discoverers of nix and hydra topic external links pluto's known satellites animation of the plutonian system hubble spots possible new moons around pluto nasa two more moons discovered orbiting pluto space Com. New Horizons Mission Site